Hey everybody, today I'm gonna show you how a beehive works. Now, this doesn't have bees in it, it's really just to show the principle of what's inside and what the bees are gonna be doing. So first we have the bottom board. I'll show you how that's ventilated in just a minute. Then we have the hive body, or the deep. This is where the queen, a lot of the workers, all of the larvae, some pollen, and some honey are gonna be stored. Then on top, we have a super. Supers are just for the storage of honey, and that's what the bees use for their energy, and it's also what the beekeeper harvests from. And then finally, we have a lid. Let's start by looking through the top. Take the lid off, and you'll notice that there's 10 frames. Now, I like the black plastic frames. It's all one piece, and it's got the hexagonal honeycomb pattern embossed in it, and it's also got a light covering of wax on it to stimulate the bees to start drawing it out into honeycomb. And then when we take the super off, I like to use a queen excluder. The spaces here are too small for the queen to get through. I'm going to remove the queen excluder. I like the metal ones, they also make plastic. And again, we see 10 more frames, same design, but these are deeper. So this is the deep, this is the main hive body, and let me explain how this works. On the outermost frames, you tend to have honey and pollen. Now, in an active hive, the center frames are going to be brood. Brood are the larvae and eggs. And then maybe a little crescent shape of capped honey up here at the top. And the queen tends to stay in the middle. Now, over time, she's gonna work her way up as all those fill up with tens of thousands of cells of capped brood. And so you can put another hive body on top of this. And then finally, we have the baseboard. And you'll notice that it comes with ventilation. And I usually prop these up either on cinder blocks or on a little stand that I make. And you've got all that ventilation. And if there's any varroa mites on the bees, those are kind of a bad pest. They can fall through and you can kind of help keep them at bay. Now you'll notice that I've only painted the outside surfaces of these hives. That's important because the bees are going to propolize or stick these frames all together. They're gonna to try to make this airtight as much as possible, and you don't want them eating the paint or anything like that. The entrance is right here. This is the only place that the bees can enter and leave, and it's simply made out of a little gap between the hive body and the base. And it's just the right space so that a honeybee can enter and leave, but other things like bumblebees and lizards and mice can't get in there to get after the bees or their honey. Please subscribe or stay tuned and check back because I'm gonna be showing actual hives all summer long and how I collect honey and all other aspects of beekeeping.